Let's start by opening the Keynote app. You can see Keynote here on my dock. If you don't find Keynote in your dock, you may need to look for it in your launch pad. When Keynote opens, I'm going to click on New Document. Then I'll select a basic white theme. In order to start with a blank white slide, I'm going to click on the text boxes that are already on my slide and click on my Delete key. Now it's time to add an animal shape to my slide. I'll click on Shapes at the top of the screen. Keynote comes with many shapes already built into the program. I can scroll through them or I can click on Animals at the left-hand side of the screen and find the one I like. I'm going to click and drag on one of the white dots in the corner in order to make the rabbit bigger. For this project, you'll want to make the shape almost as large as the size of your slide. To the right-hand side of your screen, you'll see a paintbrush, which is the format menu. If you click on the paintbrush, you can make it appear and disappear. We'll be using the format options under the Style tab. Here, I can change the color of my shape. By clicking the color wheel next to the color tab, I have some more options for colors as well. I'm going to add some grass to my scene. In this case, I'm going to type grass into the search bar in order to find the shape I want. Once I have formatted the grass in the way that I'd like, I can do a two finger click and then select copy and paste in order to create as many pieces of grass as I'd like in the scene. Now it's time to make the rabbit jump. I'll click on the rabbit and select Animate in the Format menu. The animations under Build In would make the rabbit enter the scene. The animations under Build Out would make the rabbit exit the scene. And the animations under Action take place in a single spot in the scene. I can click on Preview to see what they might look like. I think I like this Bounce one. I'll click on Bounce to select it. Now it's time to save my project. I'll click on the File menu. I'll select Export to Animated GIF. I'm going to leave these settings alone. Here, I'll click Save. Now, I need to give my file a title and decide where I'm going to save it. The process that we just completed was to export our project as an animated GIF. I still need to save the Keynote version in case I want to do any more edits later. I'm going to give this one a title and save it to my desktop. Here you can see I have the animated GIF version and the keynote presentation saved to my desktop. Let's try double clicking on the GIF to see what happens. Hmm, that doesn't look very animated. This is because animated GIFs must be opened with a web browser. Let's try again. I'll do a two finger click on my animated GIF I'll select Open With and choose a web browser such as Safari. Now you can see my bunny jumping in the grass.